Good morning. Green Tree Cafe. Rainforest Cafe. This is going out to uh, the VFWs, the AMVETS, the Knights of Columbus, any kind of organization that believes in their fellow veterans. Um, they're coming home with rage. I know that rage. So the Vietnam veterans, um, you know, some of the worst wars, whatever, I know that rage. Uh, going out to bars is one way to get that rage out. Why not give them a different alternative uh, instead of jail? Um, how about hosting spades night? Uh, uh, have a group each each week, um, or more so, get a basketball team together, football game going, softball, you name it. Get anything to group these um, new veterans, uh, combat veterans, together. Um, if they are isolating and the the parents, the wife, the husband, who, whoever it was, cannot get this individual out of the house, why don't one of you step up and be a community member and go to that person's house and speak to them? They're going to listen to a fellow uh, combat veteran um, and uh, have persuade them, you know, as best you can that here's an invitation. So they're not going to prison. So they're not going to jails. Uh, communities wake up. You know, way before we had certain things, uh, there used to be barn lifting. The community came together. It's time to bring the community back. You know, it's we have to play our part, too, for our fellow veterans um, coming home from combat. It, it's You have no idea the anger and the rage that is inside them. You have no idea what a tick means to them. You have no idea. They need to be amongst their own being being amongst their own is going to cause that safety, that that scale of adrenaline to start lessening, and that would be the best way to introduce them back to, um, to society back here. Uh, they don't need to be in a bar having uh, the bar um, drunk with the with the beer balls going. Oh, you think you all that? Yeah, uh, a fight ensues. The guy is slaughtered who who was the jerk to begin with, and, and my veteran goes to uh, prison. No, stop. Please, care about your fellow veterans. This is Ask Donna Lynn.